Hello everybody, I'm here to explain how to get started with speedrunning Resident Evil 2 Remake. Let's get started. First thing we're going to be talking about is performance and how a lot of the mechanics of the game are tied to frames per second. I will be calling frames per second FPS from now on. We are going to go through differences between PC and console and different categories depending on FPS. So, why does FPS matter? There are some mechanics in the game that are influenced by the frame rate. First of all, knife, the big thing. The difference between knifing on 30 FPS to 60 to 120 is huge. The knife registers more hits per swing the higher your FPS is. So the difference between running on 30 FPS and 120 is massive, like shown here. So depending on your console or your PC, you'll be running somewhere between 30 and 120 FPS. 2. The menu speed and responsiveness. The higher your FPS, the faster you will pick up items and the faster you can interact with puzzles and your menu in general. 3. Enemy AI responsiveness. I'm not gonna go too in depth into this, but you can notice enemy reaction times are slower, smaller your FPS is. Depending on what frame rate you are running, you might have to change your strategies and item pickups. I will be listing all console specs here and then talk about PC. On PC you can choose between 60fps and 120fps, depending on your computer specs and on your own preference. On PC you have to limit your FPS and display it while you are running the game. The most common program to use is called Riva Tuner. There is link below to download the program. After you download the program and install it, you need to open up the rtss.exe. It will be hidden on your taskbar so you need to double click it to open it up. First you need to find your game exe file by clicking on the bottom left add, find the game folder, usually found where your steam is installed. Then you gotta find re2.exe. Now you just gotta make sure to limit your FPS accordingly and choose what corner you want to display your FPS. Make sure the display is on. It might take a moment for the display to show up when you open up the game. Program to use the time you run is live split. There will be a download link below and I will post a link to a video how to set it up. To keep track of your live splits you need to have it on second monitor or you need to play the game on windowed mode which is not suggested because it causes a lot of performance issues. The only way console players can track their time is creating manual splits or just check the in-game time when you pause the game on the top right corner. SRT, speedrunners tool and another alternative tool for single monitor users. This is what SRT looks like. It will display you a lot of information and this also needs to be on the second monitor. So it will display your health here, the in-game time, it will also display DA rank and DA score. I will explain it a little bit later. It will list all the enemy health bars here. The first one usually is the boss health bar. It also displays inventory on the right. And if you right click on the SRT you can change some settings. If you don't want to display inventory for example. Good thing about running on PC, you can adjust your graphic settings depending on what category you want to run on. You might need to sacrifice some graphical fidelity to gain some more frames per second. I will go through quickly the PC settings to help you get up the right settings. Run the game on DirectX 11. It's the most stable version of the game. Running the game on full screen gives you the most performance. Alternatively, you can run it on borderless windowed. You can try changing your resolution to gain some frames. Either run it on 1080p or 720p as shown. Image quality is another thing you can change to gain huge performance boost. You are allowed to change graphic settings for boss fights if you need to gain some FPS for knifing bosses. Set frame rate to variable. Riva Tuner is the program that limits our FPS. 
so we don't need to use the in-game one at all. This in is off. Rest of the settings are up to your own preference and your own PC specs. Take things that hurt performance is shadow quality and volumetric lighting. So those are usually what you wanna turn off or set to low. Turning off the real-time binaural from audio settings can also give a little performance boost. SRT and live split also eat your performance, so just keep that in mind. DA, difficulty adjustment. This game has adaptive difficulty that changes depending on what happens on the game. Picking up items and damaging enemies or killing them will raise your DA rank. Every time you take damage or die, you lower your DA. When we speedrun this game, we wanna get as little item pickups as we can while still being able to finish the game. Also, we wanna avoid killing any enemies at any cost because it will make all boss fights take longer if your DA gets higher. On hardcore difficulty though, your DA will always be at rank 9, so it doesn't matter if you pick up items. If you are interested in submitting runs, you need to be familiar with the rules of the game and there might be some category specific rules as well. Let me show where you can find them, but I will also read them to you. Runs must be a single segment. No loading of saves or auto saves. Game is timed by in-game timer which shows up on final screen. Purchasable DLC that gives an in-game advantage or banned. Soundtrack swap is allowed. All runs need game audio. If your run has portions muted due to copyright music, your run will be rejected. Music also must not overpower the game audio. Continues after death are allowed on standard difficulty. If you die on hardcore, then the run is over. Usage of turbo and macros in the runs is not allowed. Some missions must contain all footage of the run provided. Any missing footage, not counting cutscenes, could result in run being rejected. Extended periods of time spent in pause screen will also invalidate the run. Limit 2 minutes per pause. Mods, including but not limited to first person and gun give it to ya, are not allowed. SRT is allowed. Once you want to submit a run, click the button submit run, make sure you set up all the details right on this page and then all you gotta do is wait for the run to get approved. Just make sure if you're running on PC that your FPS is displayed. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you look the description for all the links on the video and also subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch.tv slash 7 for live content and speedruns.